differences between class limits and class boundaries. Class limits versus class boundaries. Data values are grouped into classes of equal widths and the smallest and largest observations in each class are called class limits. Whereas, class boundaries are individual values chosen to separate classes, often being the midpoints between upper and lower class limits of adjacent classes. The aim of class limits is to split a set of discrete values into classes that tell you which value fall into which group. Whereas, the aim of class boundaries is to ensure continuous intervals for grouped data by facilitating accurate statistical analysis. Class limits focus on the least and greatest numbers that can belong to the class. Whereas, class boundaries focus on the numbers that separate classes without forming gaps between them. For integer data, the corresponding class limits and class boundaries differ by 0.5. Class limits helps in separating one class in a grouped frequency distribution from another, whereas class boundaries helps in determining the range of values that fall within each class and allows for better analysis and interpretation of data and avoid overlap between consecutive classes. Formula of finding number of classes, range and class interval are given for comparison whereas lower class boundaries are calculated by subtracting 0.5 from lower class limits and upper class boundaries are calculated by adding 0.5 in lower class limits. Class limits are used in grouped data and there is no usage in ungrouped data. Whereas, Class boundaries are used in grouped data and there is no usage in ungrouped data. Class limits are important in data analysis as they help to organize and group data into meaningful categories for easier interpretation and analysis. Whereas, class boundaries are important in statistics and data analysis, defining value ranges for effective organization, analysis, and visualization. They are widely used in histograms, frequency distributions, summary statistics, and inferential statistics across multiple fields, streamlining data interpretation and analysis. In example, you can see class weights which are class limits that are given in first column. After that compute lower class boundaries by subtracting 0.5 from lower class limits to get lower class boundaries in second column. In third column, by calculating upper class boundaries, add 0.5 in upper class limits to get upper class boundaries. In fourth column, you can write class boundaries. In this way you can fill the rest of frequency distribution table by making four columns for midpoints, tally, frequencies, and entries, respectively. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.